these guys are in for a special treat today. Today's going to be the best one I've ever made. I'm going to be fitting an armrest. Yes, armrest to the GT86. Yeah, so a bit of backstory on this. Pretty much going to be the most unexciting video in the world, but if any 86 owners out there know pre 2016, 2017, they came with this big void in the middle. And every time yeah, you're driving along and you just fall in basically to the black hole that is um, this big space. So the 2017 models onwards came with an armrest. And today I'm going to pretty much retrofit it to the 2012 Plus model and these are coming along for the ride. So to fit this I have to drill into my centre console which is a case where if I go wrong uh, there's no return. So I'm going to have to uh, make sure that I do this right. Um, but basically how it's fitted is there is a number of holes that has to be drilled around the area and then there's three holes that have to be drilled here to support which is these. So it must be for because that's the most just right above the hinge so it's the most supported area so this will have to be I suppose this takes most of the weight so you're not just putting the pressure on the plastic. Um, so that's basically all you have to do. Them holes, in my opinion, would be the first because once they're situated, then you can set it in place and then mark out the drill holes for the, the actual screw the unit down. But it comes with all the hardware and their little uh, well nuts. I'm going to show you. These are rubber and once you thread in from one side these pull and compress and when they compress they uh, tighten into front and uh, basically hold everything in place it's pretty cool it's basically how most people will put on um, white arch kits and things these days so that's how it's fitted retrofitted and I think I'm gonna have to mark it all out drill a few holes and hope to God that it all works out. So at least if I do it wrong it'll make for an amazing clickbait uh, YouTube video for maybe an extra 40 views. So <laughs> um, here we go. I think mask, yeah mask and tape, mask and tape I'll go, I'll go with mask and tape first and then I'll draw it out and I'll show you how to do it or how not to do it. Depending. So we'll start off by just masking the area where I'll be sticking, or, or sorry, where I'll be drilling the holes, etc. So I know exactly where everything needs to be. I actually searched YouTube and I couldn't find anybody who's really documented this. So that's why I decided to document it myself. It doesn't make for the most exciting YouTube video in the world, but at least if it's informative for somebody, it's worth it. Other people might say, why the hell do you care about a, an armrest? But as you can see, the handbrake is here, the gear stick is here, so whenever you're driving, you naturally either lay your hand on the hand stick, or hand stick? Handbrake? and uh, the gear stick and uh, your elbow basically falls in here all the time which is annoying as hell so and whenever I was getting the recall done I, um, I seen one in the, the new model the 2019 model and I was like yeah I need one in my life so next I need to line up these three and 
had an idea what to do, which is basically make a template from a bit of cardboard by leaning it over the top and pressing it onto these holes. So bring it to the edge, and level it up, and then press down on it, and hopefully the holes are imprinted onto the cardboard, which they are. And I'm just going to draw them like so. So that's the template. And now I need to see where these them actual holes need to be. So I need to lay, lay this down. Figure out exactly what where the edge needs to lie. So now where I can see where I need to drill the holes for the three support um, pins, um, just lay it down like so, and I'm just going to draw around. Why the hell is that happening? Focus. Then I can draw around the pins, and that way I can see exactly where I need to lay the template and how far back, etc., it needs to go. And then I'll drill them holes first and get back to you then. That's where my three holes need to be. So, so I'm going to drill a pilot hole first with using a small bit. Um, you want to make sure whenever you're drilling a pilot hole that you start with small as much as you can because you don't want it to like move. If you, if you drill with a bigger bit and it moves like you're you're talking you could be off by a few mil and it could be enough to send it off center or not work at all so to make sure um, use a small one and at least with a small one if it does move it'll only be minute so this is the pilot holes drilled um, now I'm going to drill the actual holes and they're going to be the, the worst because that's going to be uh, three big giant holes in my dash center console oh well it has to be done so the the bit size is um, 8 mil. so for anybody doing this, um, you'll need an 8 mil bit for the final stage, although don't quote me on that, if you are doing this, make sure you get a vernier caliper and measure the distance, because that's what I did on the pin, just in case there's any variation. So now, this should slot on. Perfect. All right, so if you've done your maths and you've, everything should fall perfectly in place. So if you get a drill bit the same diameter as the holes and you spin it, should mark the dead center of the hole on top of the masking tip you've laid down.
sure the walnuts are actually eight mil as well so look at like this is pretty scary Now for the eight mil. So now I'm going to take the tape off. Look at the horrible mess I made of my dash. Center console. scary so. so now you just insert the well nuts so this should be it So the hardware is, uh, it's probably not going to focus, just focus on my face, but the hardware is T25 torque bits um, for this kit, so it's just a matter of screwing them into the well nuts and hope for the best. On a good note, it looks like all my uh, measurements worked <laughs> and everything's lining up. As you can see, it's perfect OEM equipment. It's pretty cool. And this is the, the, because it's um, because it's OEM Toyota. It, the leather is exactly the same leather as in the rest of the trim, although it's a lot newer and nicer, as you can tell, but perfectly matching. Oh yes, now I don't fall into the pits of doom every time I go to change gear. This is awesome. I should do one of my fancy... Um, cinematic edits about my, my uh, armrest nah I don't think an armrest needs a cinematic edit but um so that was an install hopefully that uh, all you BRZ FRS or GT86 users drivers out there um, that, that want to do this here will uh, I don't know I hope this helps in some way um, for anyone else, thanks for watching, and uh, this is just a short little video, instructional video, and um, we'll go back to the normal vlogs and project builds, and hopefully a few other things down the line, because um, Jab Fest is coming up as well soon, although I'm going to probably put this video out before other videos, so technically I'm jumping in time because I'm a few <laughs> vlogs behind. But I decided I'm going to put this up now since it's easy and I've already done it. So we will also be um, having something special in the future. Um, I'm actually going to Japan in six days time. And the juice box guys are currently over there at the moment. And I have footage from 2017 that I... Um, because I was over in 2017 and I visited a couple of cool spots and I have loads of footage from 2017 Let me close this window that I'm thinking on grouping together and making a short film out of and I have six days until I go to Japan so I'm thinking I have six days to group all this together and make a proper 
video out of it. And so, for any of you that didn't fall asleep and got to the end of this video, you have that to look forward to, and I should be releasing that the day before we leave for Japan. So, it'll be footage for 2017, and I'm trying to try and vlog as much as possible over there, and upload as much as possible over there. So keep an eye on Instagram, Facebook, and obviously YouTube, and like and subscribe for more crazy shit like this, and uh, we'll see you next time. Also suggest a friend, and go have a look at the super video as well, so see you later guys.